Bitch, shut the fuck up. We're going to take care of all the reptiles now. Here is Andromeda's enclosure. Hello, big girl. Huh? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Her enclosure is actually bioactive, so I spray it down probably one to two times a day. There she is. She's beautiful. Next up, we are checking on Picasso's enclosure. There he is. Oh. He's sleeping. Um, it is bioactive and usually a like humidifier that goes off every night. So we're just gonna refill it. I'm just gonna put this in. Attach the hose. Everything's on a timer, so it automatically turns on. It automatically humidifies Picasso's enclosure every night. And then we're just gonna refill the water. And then he also has an automatic mister system, but I'm gonna manually spray down all the plants anyways. All right, this is Vagar's enclosure. She's very, very good at hiding. I believe she's hiding in there, but we'll probably see her later tonight because I think it's like only eight right now, but we're gonna spray down her enclosure as well. And then I also like to check on everyone's water dishes. I already refilled them every morning, but she has water. We're gonna change her water and we're also gonna feed the geckos as well. Here's all their gecko food. I like to switch their flavors every day. So today, I think we're just going to go with this Hooray! one. All right, and this is the finished product. And we're just going to scoop it into their bowls. There you go. Vagar has awakened from her slumber. Here is Queen Vagar. My moldy croissant. Look at her. So Look sweet. at her little, 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 little hands. Oh, didn't see you there. <laughs> Bitch, shut the fuck up! Okay, next I have a pre-killed rat here for Kilo. If you don't like rats or dead things, don't watch this. But we're just gonna open this up and I'm just gonna place it in her enclosure. She doesn't eat for me on camera or anything. So I'm just gonna place this rat in her enclosure and then she'll just do her thing. I usually just like put it in front Bruh. of her house. And that's how I feed Kilo once a week, every night. And it just disappears in the morning. So in here, it's time to feed the rain frogs. We have to dig for them though. So let's go ahead and do that. I found Linguini. There he is, the biggest one. Okay, in this container, I have crickets. I'm just gonna put some calcium. I've been gut loading them now for a couple of days. So they're all ready to go. Have fun, buddy. After they eat, I let them soak. And one of them has a cricket. If you guys didn't know, rain frogs actually have little frog butts. So now we're in my office. I just like to check on everyone. Yeah, everyone has clean water. Everyone has food or doobie roaches. And so the dumpy frogs are good. Here's Mr. Pickles' enclosure, making sure everyone has clean water. I mean, I check on my pet's water like twice a day. I'm like so anal about it. Chicken's enclosure is good. And then kilos. Yep. They're all sleeping. Is Drogon sleeping? Oh. It is currently 11.34 and I've just been, hello Katana. I have literally just been cleaning the house and everything. We are going to now do the dishes. I use the dishwasher because it is effective for cleaning out all of their nasty slow feeders. I feed raw and I feel like I just can't clean properly with using just a, a sponge and dish soap. So I rinse them with some hot water and then I throw it inside the dishwasher. And that's like the easiest way for me and it gets like all the gunk out of there, so. You're being really loud and I'm trying to film. Are you done? All right, 
dishwasher is full. I don't know why so many people always ask me how I clean my slow feeders. This is the way. So a lot of people always ask me about the dog's sleeping arrangements. Draco sleeps in that crate. Usually Katana sleeps with him, but there's no like bottom lining right now because I'm buying a new one. So only Draco fits in there for now. Bretta has her own crate and Katana has her bed. I need to move everything off of it, so ignore that. Side note, I also decorated the house for Halloween. I'm like so stoked. I love Halloween. Every year I decorate. So this is what it's looking like this year. It's currently 11.53. And we're gonna take the dogs to the park so they can run around. This is the fit. Don't judge me. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Go. Ah. Good boy. <laughs> Literally just let them run around. And it's really late, so obviously there's no one here. And we also do mini training sessions. My dogs are recall trained before anyone freaking comes for me for having them off leash. Draco, Beretta, Katana, Bietz! Draco, Beretta, Assy, Assy, Katana, sit! Yes! Is she peeing? Huh? Oh shit. Oh. Yes. I see. Watch him. <laughs> OPA. I got his ass. Come on. Right with me. am y'all i'm literally so freaking tired but i'm really hungry we're making some frozen pizza and then i'm gonna go to sleep i guess part of my nighttime routine is admiring all my halloween decoration and i do stare at it for a very long time so we currently don't have a couch right now but this man decided to buy mats for wrestling before we go to bed we gotta love on all the kitties love me no julius oh my goodness look at him look at him kennel good boy draco i should go boy Brada. crate good girl good night mama all right oh. <sighs> good night y'all pizza in bed say good night babe Good night.